Hey everybody, welcome back to some more X4. Today, we're going to upgrade our ship to the Cerberus. The Cerberus, while not as popular as the Nemesis, is a pretty popular frigate in X4. It can be built at the Argon Wharf. You will need to be a friend of the Argon in order to do it. So let's take a, a quick look at this. This is my first time building a, a Cerberus, actually. It's... I, I, it is expensive, so, uh, we'll have to see how this goes. A new fix in the latest 3.0 beta patch was they, they fixed this, the, uh, docking thing. It was an empty, it was, this panel wasn't there, so it was just like a, a hole. So now it shows the panel. So the Cerberus can dock a small ship, which I'm not sure about how useful that is. We'll find out, but, uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of money. We got like 6 million credits, so we can outfit this one pretty nicely. I don't think I want to outfit it Mark Three, just because we'll, if, we'll see how this build costs when we get back to it, but we do want to at least go Mark Twos on all this. It gives a nice 303 meters per second speed. Shields, three shield batteries. We're going all Mark IIs. I may go visit the Talati station and up, see if I can upgrade these since the Talati shield modules are better. That gives us 18,000 uh, shield, which is very nice. Software, of course, docking computer, flight assist, long range scanner, police scanner. Targeting and trading, why not? And, and crew, we do want uh, some crew. I still need to research on how how crew really affects things. So expect a video on that. And we will take a couple marines in case we manage to capture a ship. Apparently we have to get a captain, even though I'm going to be the captain. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Consumables. <coughs> so... Cerberus can do drones. Um, let's get flares. We definitely need flares. It can have up to... Uh, how many drones can we do here? Twelve. So the key, the question is, repair drones or defense drones? I am thinking defense drones. Um, with four repair drones. Just so I can get some hull repair while out in space. Turrets. All right, we got four turrets. Let's see, do we? One, two, one, two, three. Where's that other turret? One, two, three. Oh, there's the other one. <clears throat> so for the front turrets, I think... I want, hmm, this is always a good question. There, there's all, all sorts of interesting weapons here. I could do plasma, beam turrets. Let's take a look at the encyclopedia entry real quick. Weapon output 24. Whoa, whoa, almost knocked the mic over. These flak turrets are tempting. They require a military license, as do do all these <clears throat> I'm gonna go beam turret I think beam turret and then back here I think we want I think we want to go pulse because these will be the the rear turrets are, I expect, like, if I'm getting chased by fighters, I want uh, the, something quick. So let's, the flak turrets are expensive. Let's see what they can, their, their rotation speed is 180 degrees. Effective range is only a kilometer. So let's stay and let's take a pulse. 209 degrees per second, 2 kilometers, and a higher projectile speed. So, they're quicker 
to, to track and attack the targets. But we have money to spend. So we I mean we could we could do two pulse turrets. It's alright. I mean I kinda wanna use a flak, but let's take a look at the main weapons that we can do. <clears throat> First. Now here's where we can have some fun. Let's see. We could go missile. I don't know if I quite want to deal with missiles yet. Bulk 2. Bolt repeaters are all, always nice. I'll, so I'll probably go with them. I like the uh, Mark 2 bolt repeaters. I'm still torn on whether I should do flak turrets. But the range is so limiting. That's what kind of bugs me about it. This is a $3 million ship we're looking at as kitted out now. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to add? We got turrets. We did beam for the front. Let's take a look at the beam real quick. 24 megawatt against a shielded target. So it's 24 for either. Rotation speed, since they're on the front, I'm not too concerned about. Effective range... I think this will be good. You can always replace it. It's not a big deal. All right. We will add this to the shopping list, and then we will have some fun. It may take a little while to build. As you can see, hull parts are in short supply. However, we are working towards helping fix that. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to get some satellites on here. Uh, also, some resource probes. Okay. There we go. And confirmed. All right, our Cerberus is complete. It took a little while to build due to the hull parts, but here it is. Look at this sucker. It is huge. Let's take a look from the front. Those are also my two drills over there. But this is the Cerberus. There's the bolt cannons there the light is kind of bright but those are the beam emitters we have there this ship is gigantic it is pretty cool looking let's go aboard I will give you the full tour around the sides but you know we don't have all day the ships just keep getting bigger okay let's first stop remember I said this comes with the dock area so let's take a look at that. So we are now on top of the ship. There's the front, there's the back, and there's a docking area where we can have a uh, another ship dock. I'll probably have my Eclipse come do that. And there's the other, the two uh, pulse turrets that, that we loaded there. Very cool. All right, let's go to the bridge. Cockpit, sorry. It is still a cockpit on this, this ship. It's got three seats. You can see the cannons off to the side. Doesn't look quite right. I can see through the ship, but oh well. Let's take a seat. Thank you for holding it down for me. All right. Let's undock. This ship is actually faster than my Eclipse. But it is still a bit slower. All right, let's take a look, another view here. And then here's kind of what we look like. Let's see, can we, uh, there's the camera. Very nice looking ship, I gotta say. The Cerberus is sweet looking. Here's the view from the rear. Got the engines. There's that docking bay. Two turrets up there. Two turrets up front. So below it is a is where it's kind of weak spot is. And then the bridge, I guess. I think the bridge is right in front, right? Yeah, there's there's me in there. It's hard to see with the red lights. All right. 
while we're here, let's go ahead and bring this guy home. So we'll have him dock at the Cerberus. So we'll carry around our Eclipse for, uh, you know, for kicks until we figure out what to do with it. Okay. Next step, we're going to go get in a little fight with this. All right. So fortunately or unfortunately, we have a combat opportunity. The Xenon decided to invade Argon Prime. So this gives us a chance to go uh, put our new ship through the paces. Um, we got a couple here that we can look, go right after. We do have an Eclipse aboard. So where? Let me look at that real quick. Cerberus Vanguard, dock ships. We're going to assign it to an attack group. And there, it just kind of took off. And there's a a target for us. Let's go see what this sucker sucker has. Go defend this station. I could beat a P in an eclipse, so I'm expecting to be able to take this side down. I'm just curious to see how the weapons are going to work. Come on. Oh, he's kind of stuck in there. What is going on here? I don't want to ex... There we go. I'm trying to attack this guy. There we go. Defense drones just popped out. We got our beams firing. Oh, we took care of that nicely. So we got our defense drones. Where is our Eclipse? He was kind of hanging around. I got to learn how to better use my little fleet ship here. So that was the first combat. Um, yeah, it went really well. <clears throat> let's go attack. Let's go take out this guy. And we'll um, assign... We'll have sixty K, I'll take that. Twenty K? Woo. And you see the drones coming back in? Oh, this guy's not gonna last, is he? Alright, we'll go after this guy then. Another P. It'll be interesting to see what kind of firepower I have against larger ships. I suspect I don't have enough. However, with Argon Prime under attack, we really gotta deal with this issue. Okay, just bounce off me. You can see our pulse lasers going at it, firing too. Oh, we have too many shields. They can't get. He can't just fire at us and get through it. Oh, this is nothing. What do we got here? Space fly eggs. I was hoping for some. Uh, I need a remote detonator. So far, combat so good. All right. Do we have anybody else here? 
You go attack this guy. I've, I've not seen you do anything yet. Actually, go attack this guy. This guy's worth some cash. Oh, we can't let them get a foothold. Ooh, 60k again? 20 80k? I'll take it. And the enjoyment of just destroying them? That works for me. There we go. This guy, this is just a minor kind of ship, so this won't take very long. No drops for me? All right, you go back. Okay, he's gonna attack him. I'm gonna go get in on this one too. Get that defense platform out of here. We're going to have to start kind of I think it's already dead. Can you attack? We're going to see if we can attack the construction platform. Thanks for your help. Here's a little something as thanks. Can't let the Argon get a foothold in here. I, I I'm a little worried what's going to happen when those big, when they do send the big ships in here, the capital ships. Alright, can I attack this thing? Looks like I can. I have no idea on... I have no idea how much health it has, though. Can I scan this? Nope. Oops. Nope. Don't want to do that. We are way too close. All right. That about covers it for, you know, this video. The Cerberus so far is really cool. Oh, wait. Now built. Oh, wait. Now it's dead. Alright, thanks for watching.